Battle of open singles down on table number one. It's the familiar, very familiar figure of Don Swan on the right. And Ezekiel Cervantes on the left. Winner will advance to the singles final. Of course, Cervantes has already won open doubles here this weekend with Ben Cardenas. Talked about it a little bit last night in regards to Don Swan and some of the historic matches that he has competed in. As Cervantes sets it up, looking to strike first here in game number one. Zeke. Try to go back to the far side. Swan with a block and the save. Several of those matches were singles. And we mentioned the 95 national championships in San Francisco when he beat Todd Lafredo in two sets, both of which went down to the final ball, one of the great matches of all time. And I don't think the ball ever stopped on either side of the table. It was a high speed match, I think unlike anything we've ever seen. Two sets that combined probably took 40 minutes or so. He also won the Masters Singles Championship, playing with that, that same fast style. The ball really never stopping, tic-tacking, moving forward, five row shots. Look at that big full shot from goal there by Zeke. Something he's very good at. And it was a lot of fun to watch Don Swan play during the, the mid-1990s when he utilized that, that fast style. He'd get one a game from the five row. He'd get one or two from goal. There's one from the five. Other shots were pull kicks from the, the three rod, off the, off the fly, or pin shots. Very entertaining style. It'd be fun to perhaps see him go to that style once again. This is when Don Swan was firmly entrenched in there. You see a little bit more of it as that one comes off the back wall and he slam dunks it home. So maybe as we spoke about it, Don Swan has seemingly decided to begin to play that way. But during the 1990s, and certainly during the mid-1990s, Don Swan, one of the real familiar figures on the Pro Tour and one of the great players. I believe this World Championship came in 1998. I believe it was with the great, the late great, Tina Wyatt in mixed doubles. Don Swan leading 2-1. The winner will advance to the final. And passed along that outside wall by Swan. Let's see what he does here. He's going to set up either the pin or the pole. Isn't he? Yes, he's going to set up the pin shot. And I've seen him shoot this shot probably 18 times this weekend, and I have not seen him score it. Whereas with the pull shot, he's been quite effective at times. Zeke, whose only shot, only score, came from the two rod, puts another one on goal here, spinned backwards and retrieved by Swan. And Swan from goal. Swan just shooting the ball so well from the two run. He's up 3 1 here in game number one. Don Swan, a, a really good goalie, a really good forward, but I think a, a great singles player during his career. Really had a great understanding of singles foosball. And while he is still certainly a very good player, he is probably 70% at best of what he was in his prime when he was playing on a regular basis, following the tour, winning major titles. Can he get it off the wall? Yes, he does. Taking a lot of time here on the five. Left hook on goal, stabbed at it, banked off the outside wall. Zeke, who scored once and put another one on goal from his two rod. Fires this one down the table. Jumps into the forward position to try to grab it. Can't do so. from 
goal. This time the pull kick. Beautiful shot by Cervantes. It's 3-3. So Z supplying firepower from his two lot. Something he can do. If you watch Ezekiel Cervantes play the singles four man, he's gonna pick up one or two a game from back there. He's one of those guys that can really score from the two row. And, and there aren't a lot of them in singles. He's not looking to pass right now. He's looking to shoot like a Billy Pappas or a Ryan Moore. But I think to be successful in singles, shooting the ball, you really have to shoot the ball well. If you don't, you, you kind of never know where the ball is going to end up when you shoot it. If it ends up in the back of the goal, that's one thing. As Cervantes looks to the lead and finds it. That's one of the things that has made Tony Spreiderman and Frederick Colignon such great players over the years is the, their passing from the two to the five. They know where that ball is going to end up. When they have it on their two, nine times out of ten, they're going to have it on their five shortly thereafter and perhaps on the three not long after that. But when shooting the ball from goal, unless you're Billy Pappas or Ryan Moore, it can be an iffy proposition. You shoot the ball. If you don't score it, are you going to get up there to grab it as Zeke does here, or is it going to go to the other guy? Spreiderman and Colignon, it always goes to themselves. With a good shooting goalie, it's worth it to get one or two a game. Cervantes now looking to win game number one. Swan got off to the quick start here, but Cervantes really coming on. And again, thanks to great part. He was shooting from the two rod. Almost made a great catch there on the three rod. Swan, also a very good shooter. Puts that one on goal with a left hand. Cervantes does just try to clear it here. That's a nice play by Zeke. He had established the fact he could pound the ball back there, which kind of had Swan on his heels defensively. Instead, he clears it, grabs it, and strokes it home. It's one game to nothing. Rushes it through that far lane, and now we'll set up the pull shot. Swan for the early lead here in game two. Tries to come down the middle, blocked and taken away by Cervantes. Zeke has it blocked and taken away by Swan. with the two rod, uses the left hand to reel it in and then angles it in with that same left hand using the three rod at goal. A creative play there by Cervantes and he's given himself the early lead here. All the momentum on the left side of the table right now. Nice tic-tac wall pass here by Swan. to look inside, probably used to go long, and Cervantes thinking along those same lines, able to block it and take it away. Swan can't dig that one out. Swan, rebound comes right back to Cervantes. Don Swan a little unfocused right now. Cervantes with a shot attempt blocked by Swan. Remains 1 nothing in game to end score in favor of Cervantes. Zeke 
shot attempt block comes back to Swan. Cervantes again from goal. That's four in two games from the two rod of Zeke Cervantes. All of the quality shots. And Swan is going to call timeout. Trailing two nothing, trailing one game to nothing. Swan got off to the early lead. I believe he was up three one. Since then, I believe it's six in a row for Cervantes. Swan looking at the pull kick. And dinks it, short side. Don Swan does have a pull kick. I used to see him shoot that tic-tac long pull kick quite extensively. This time he sits on it, waits, and executes a nice short side dink. Cervantes, though, coming right back. Such organized, disciplined player and some pretty good lateral speed on the three rod as well. He's up 3-1. He quickly answers the dink of Don Swan. Beautiful tic-tac wall pass by Don. Let's see what Swan does here. Oftentimes, he'd bring it over once the three rod, rather to the middleman on the three rod, and then come right back with a long pull kick. He's to dink it against here. And again, three dinks in a row. The last two were blocked. Cervantes has played an outstanding match. And again, Zeke Cervantes. That is five of his nine goals from his two run. He's also been great defensively. Shot the ball very well on the three. The usual solid five. And there he is. What a performance by Cervantes, who defeats Don Swan in two straight impressive games. 